Well, Governor Westmore did not sign many bills dealing with the juvenile crime crisis this year. He did sign Senate Bill 1, limiting where Marylanders with a wear and carry permit can bring their firearms in public. Now there's a battle heating up between Governor Westmore and a Severn man who opposes that bill. His form of protest, walking near a school bus with an AR-15. As Fox 45's Vincent Hill explains, neither side is backing down. The governor says he was right in passing Senate Bill 1 because of people like Jaden McAdory. But McAdory says taking guns away from legal gun owners won't have the effect the governor wants. Governor Wes Moore standing firmly behind signing Senate Bill 1 into law, which limits where firearms can be carried. Fox 45 speaking with the governor while he was out and about at the Preakness on Saturday. The number one priority and the number one focus that I have is I want to make sure that all Marylanders can feel safe in their own communities and feel safe in their own neighborhoods. The new law receiving pushback from legal gun owners like Jane McAdory, who's been openly carrying an AR-15 near a school bus stop in protest of the bill. He's literally helping to make my point. People should not be able to carry whatever they want, wherever they want, to include bus stops and places around children. McAdory firing back at the governor. Until he knows the full story, I don't want to hear nothing he has to say. Never did I come out here for the children at all. McAdory says Senate Bill 1 will only lead to disarming legal gun owners, leaving them helpless against criminals. The legal criminals will always still have the guns. The legal guns will never disappear just because you take it away from people like me. I mean, you're like, it's already illegal to shoot and, and, and kill people. Giovanni Patterson of the group Peace Agrees, calling Senate Bill 1 senseless. They mentioned that it's common sense, uh, you know, legislation. Well, it's common sense that the, you know, people committing these crimes are not obtaining guns legally. However, political analyst John Deedy has a different take on McAdory's way of protesting the law. Because if you're a parent, you may support the right to bear arms, but if you're if your seven year old's getting off that school bus stop, you're scared. They're extremely intimidated. They're terrified. They don't know what he's thinking or what he might do next. Didi says McAdory's actions could lead to even stricter gun laws in the next legislative session. This gentleman acting out or trying to get his 15 minutes of fame may create a situation now where the General Assembly says, we've got another spot, we want it next year. Although Senate Bill 1 does prohibit guns at schools, it doesn't prohibit them at bus stops, meaning when that law goes into effect in October, he could actually still carry his AR-15 around kids. In Baltimore, Vincent Hill. Fox 45 News. Senate Bill 1 was created in response to a U.S. Supreme Court decision ending Maryland's good and substantial reasoning requirement to get a wear and carry permit. While you no longer need it to submit a reason to get a permit, the process of obtaining one is still pretty comprehensive. It includes registering online with the state, submitting fingerprints, going through 16 hours of training with state police or a qualified handgun instructor. It's eight additional hours for renewal. After that, you also need to provide a passport style photo. And then there's the fee, $75 for new applicants, 50 for renewal or subsequent licenses. And that brings us to our question of the day. Do you believe Senate Bill 1 will have an impact on crime? So far, 62% of voters say no. Head to foxbaltimore.com slash vote right now to weigh in. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.